Hello everyone, how are you doing? And I hope you're doing fine. This is a usual program called Determined Mindset with me, Sally Fitzuri. And for today we'll be treating a topic which I titled Feel the Feel. Feel the Feel. Um, many of us have had so many challenges in our life, maybe while growing up or maybe even as of now as I'm talking to you. Um, failure is something for which is part of life. Everyone you're seeing being successful today, they were once failure. In life, you must have the ability to fail quickly and learn from it. Whoever fails is an individual who is determined to succeed. That is why Albert Einstein said, failure is the absence of success. So, um, today we'll be talking about different set of people who have failed before as a way of keeping you motivated for you not to give up on that dream, or maybe it might be your relationship or it might be your career or whatever thing you so have you have desire for you have passion for is what we'll be discussing today so the first person i'll be talking about is the life of a british writer the author of the book called a reporter and her name was called jk rowling and this lady she was an individual who has gone through life she went to college she graduated and she was get, she was able to, to get married to someone and at the end her marriage was not successful and according to her she quotes in her in her wording she said i have failed on an epic scale that was a wording that an exceptional short lived marriage had exploded and i was jobless so you see she was jobless she regretted and said oh i failed in my job i failed in my marriage and I am also poor, I'm jobless, I don't have any place to sleep, I'm homeless, and so on. And the last word she said is, the fear that my parents had had for me, and had had for myself. Because it was a fear her parents had for her not, for her not to fail. So coming out of failure, stronger and more determined was the key to success according to her. So she trusted to write in a book. Even she has failed in her marriage, she has failed in her job role, in her career. Everything she put hand in has failed already. But she didn't give up on one thing. She began to write a story about a reporter. And a reporter, as you all know, became one of the renowned book, which was acted even in a movie, and it's won lots of awards and so on. Then another person for which we'll be talking about is Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple. You know, Steve Jobs was the one who founded Apple, he created it, and at the end, he was kicked out of it. Imagine something you created, and something for which you've worked hard for, and they say, okay, we don't want you anymore, it's high time you go. Why? Because he failed in so many things. And he didn't stop there because he has failed in making the company become better. He, after he left, he had to form his own company, and at the end of the day, he became a CEO. Okay, so in life, you may have failed in whatever career path. Like I said, learn to fail quickly and learn from it. Failure is part of success, and there is no successful life without failure. We've all failed one way or the other. Maybe you've become homeless, or probably while it's coming up, the things you expect to achieve, you are unable to achieve it. You failed in so, so many things, but no one thing. Don't give up. Don't let go. Keep pushing, keep pressing. So another individual again we can talk about is Bill Gates. Do you know that Bill Gates was a school dropout? Imagine the world most richest man in terms of money. He has money now, yes. But before this time, he was a dropout. Maybe you've dropped out of your school or out of your career path for which you so have desired in. And you think that's the end for you. And you think, you know, I can't make it anymore in life and no good can come out of me. It's about time you wise up. It's about time you wake up from your slumber. Because compare yourself to the man called Bill Gates. Bill Gates dropped out of school. Despite he dropped out of school. He didn't, he didn't stop there. He engaged in Microsoft. You know, and according to him, he said, these were his wordings. He said, it is fine to celebrate success. But it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. He said it is fine to celebrate success, but it is very important, according to him, to, set, to learn the lessons of failure. Failure has lessons, and there are a lot of lessons which failure can teach you. If you are that individual who can learn from it, then at the end of the day, you can be able to become successful in life. Then the next person again, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was kicked out of school 
<laughs> you know, maybe because he, was, he can't comprehend much or maybe because of the wildlife he was living, but he was kicked out of school. And because he was having poor grades and he began to teach himself. He didn't stop here and say, okay, because I've been kicked out of school, you know, the man who created the principle of relativity, Albert Einstein, you know, the one we know about now, he was kicked out of school. Yeah, he failed. And at the end of the day, he didn't stop here. He started to teach himself. He tutored himself. He didn't stop there. And at the end of the day, he became one of the renowned scientists, which you and I are even looking up to now. And the next person again, which, is, which would be the number fifth individual, Albert Einstein said, that success is failure in progress. That was his wording. That success is failure in progress. Then the next person is Ibrahim Lincoln. You know, one of the renowned presidents in, the, in America, in the United States of America. Ibrahim Lincoln, he failed in his business in the year 1831. And he suffered from a nervous breakdown in the year 1835. And he was defeated to run for president in the year 1856, he didn't give up. And according to him, what did he say from his wording? He said, my great concern is not whether you are failed, but whether you are content with your failure. See how powerful it was for Albert, um, for Ewan Lincoln. He said his great concern was not how you failed, but whether you are content with your failure. So in life, like I said, we can all fail and we have all failed one way or the other. But do not be content with your failure. Don't content with it. Don't reckon with it. It's high time you wake up from it. It's high time you motivate yourself. You became so motivated in whatever thing you are doing. You see? And the other person was Michael Jordan. You know, Michael Jordan, as I was growing up, it was, this was a person who inspired me so much to play basketball, though I was not a good one in that. You know, Michael Jordan, you know, um, this man called Michael Jordan, he said, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games 26 times. I have been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I have failed and over and over in my life. That is why I succeed. So you see, whatever thing you do repeatedly over and over, over and over, it became a time, it, 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 the thing become part of you. You know, you see yourself succeeding, you see yourself progressing, you see yourself going through lots of challenges and you see yourself overcoming it. So, take from these people, Michael Jordan, 9,000 shots. Imagine you are shooting a basketball to make a basket 9,000 times and he was unable to score, you know, 9,000 times. So, the next person again that I want to talk about is Walt Disney. You know, the one which has the Disney industry, the film, um, which has produced lots of movies that are so good. The Mickey Mouse creator. And according to him, what did he say? He said, we do not look backward for very long. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and doing new things because we are curious. And curiosity keeps leading us down new path. So, one thing I can also leave with you is for you to succeed and overcome failure. Learn to be curious. And again, the other thing I also want to leave with you to overcome failure, do not be content with the failure. Then one of the greatest motivational words you can have is do not be content with failure. Don't allow it. Don't see failure as just being failed. Yeah? So again, let me draw you to the game which has just concluded between uh, France and Argentina. Congratulations, by the way, to all Argentine supporters. And congratulations again to France for holding the second position. You know, when Argentina played with Saudi Arabia in their first match, they failed. They were defeated. But they, they didn't they allow themselves to fail quickly and they learn from it and they grow. And at the end of the day, they are able to win. So learn to fail quickly and learn from it. So please ensure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this. Share this one. Comment on this so it can go viral. Other people to benefit from it. Thank you.